I 100% got trolled by this famous lead singer. I, I will explain, just a sec. All right, so I went to the When We Were Young festival. Uh, you know, this uh, nostalgia-ridden emo fest that everyone thought was a scam when it was initially announced. Well, it did end up happening, and I went with a bunch of friends, and uh, I have a bunch of stories from that weekend because it was, it was pretty fun, and a lot of stuff happened. But today, there's one story in particular that I'm gonna share with you. Now, before you think it, I know that it was very unfortunate for the people who had tickets for the first date at Women Were Young. Unfortunately, the show did get canceled because the, the wind was an absolute nightmare. And yes, we were shitting our pants when we got the news. We were in the airport getting ready to board our flight to Vegas when we heard about that show getting canceled. And we we're like, shit, maybe this was a scam. This is the downfall. This is how it all ends. However, our date did go according to plan, and like I said, there's a lot of stories that came out of that weekend, and this is just one of those stories. So on Sunday morning, the morning of our show, we decide that we're gonna go get some coffee, as one does. My wife and I found this really cool coffee shop in Vegas. It's called Mothership Coffee. It's about a mile or so away from Fremont Street. So this is where we decide to go on Sunday morning. It's just me, my wife, and my buddy. So we get to the coffee shop, and it's pretty busy. The line extends all the way back to the, to the door. So we get in line, and we're just standing there, and there's a group of guys to our right, like maybe four or five guys sitting at these two tables, just kind of <clears throat> chatting and drinking their coffee. My brain does this like instant scan of all of them and immediately thinks, like, these, these guys look like they could be in a band. I wonder if they're I wonder if they're playing at the festival. There was one guy in particular who looked super familiar, but I just couldn't put my finger on what band he could be in. So I think to myself, because it would be rude to just interrupt them and ask if they're in a band, I decide to check the When We Were Young app. So I pull out my phone and I check the When We Were Young app because the app shows all the bands playing at the festival. It has their their pictures and a bio about each band. So I'm like, I'm just, you know, my thought process was I'm gonna go through this list of people and I'm going to, I'm sure I'll be able to identify at least one of these guys from the, the bio pic of the artists in, in the app. Well, the app idea failed. And so, you know, my buddy just kind of looks at me and he's like, just, just ask them if they're in a band. Profound idea, I know. So I reluctantly turn to the table of guys and say, hey, are any of you guys in one of the bands playing at the festival? And there was kind of a delay before anyone felt like answering me. And one guy in particular said verbatim, like, no, I'm not in a band. So, um, and then another guy made a weird comment. He's like, man, every time I wear this jacket, everyone thinks I'm in a band. And this was, seemed like a really weird comment to make because his jacket, it was just like a black denim jacket. There were no markings on it. There was no, uh, like, patches or writing or anything like that. So, yeah, it seemed like a weird comment to make. So after getting a bunch of, you know, vague answers and non-responses, I decide to just leave it alone and me and my buddy just turn back into the line and just wait until it's our turn to order. Now, this is where it gets fun. While we're waiting in line, the barista calls out a name for an order. She says, Jim. And in response to them calling out this name, the guy who made the comment about his jacket gets up and goes over to the counter to get his food or his coffee or whatever he ordered. Almost immediately, my buddy turns to me and he says, Jimmy. And I'm like, there's, there's no way. And then it dawns on me that I, I, I don't really know what the lead singer from Jimmy Eat World looks like at this point in my life. So I go turn to my other friend, Google, and ask Google what, who the lead singer of Jimmy Eat World is. And sure enough, this was Jim Adkins, lead singer from Jimmy Eat World. Why in the world would he lie to me about being in a band? Um, I, I have a couple of theories, which I'll get to in a second, but um, anyway, so we, we, we order our coffee and we go and sit back down with my wife who had been saving us seats 
and we relay the story and we're sitting like across the cafe from from those guys and so we kind of just laugh about it and go on with our business now another fun part to the story happens a little bit later on in the, the evening while we're at the festival so we're at the festival and it's pretty cold, so we decided that we want to go wait in line for some coffee and donuts. Little did we know that we'd be waiting for about 75 minutes. Yes, that's no exaggeration. It was literally over an hour that we were waiting for these coffee and donuts. And because we were waiting for so long, the time that we were in line overlapped with Jimmy World's set, the beginning of their set on the main stage. Now we were pretty far away from the main stage, but we had kind of a direct line of sight and we could kind of hear what was going on at the main stage as long as nothing was happening at the stage that was a little bit closer to us. So we could hear little snippets here and there. But yeah, we look over and it's time for Jimmy World's set to start. And we kind of just look over there and laugh to ourselves and, and say, Fuck you, Jim. Like, mostly in a joking manner, of course. And then one of the three of us, I forget which one of us noticed it first, but one of us looks over and says, he's even wearing that jacket that he was wearing at the cafe that he made that comment about. Ultimate troll move. I'm sure it wasn't just to, you know, troll some guy earlier in the day that didn't know who he was, but I just couldn't help thinking to myself, like, wow. Oh yeah, but going back to my theories about why Mr. Jim didn't want to tell me he was in a band, uh, I feel like it's, it's one of two things. Like, one, he just wanted his privacy, which I can respect. He just wanted to sit and enjoy some coffee without being bothered. Um, or two, maybe he was like pissed that someone didn't recognize him right away or didn't already know who he was. And so, you know, I don't know the guy. Maybe he has some sort of ego. And so he was like, you know, f this guy. He doesn't know who I am. Like, I'm just going to lie and pretend like I'm a nobody. I don't really know. I've met band members in the past, humble brag, and no one's ever really been this weird or anything, but this is yet the, the weirdest encounter and most standoffish uh, run-in that I've had with a band member in my life. Either way, it was quite the experience and it's still something that we, we joke about pretty frequently. Um, but yeah, the, the things that happen at, at shows, man. I'm sure I have at least another story or two to share with you from that trip and that festival. But this is the little nugget that you get today. And as always, like the video if you enjoyed it. It really helps. And subscribe if you've been enjoying what you've been seeing on the channel. And um, I'll just, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.